Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to fold and organize your clothes like I said I would in my last video, six tips to organize and keep your room clean and if you haven't watched that video then make sure to do that and now let's get straight into the video how to fold and organize your clothes now the first thing you're going to have to do is to sort through your clothes into three piles clothes that are too big for you clothes that fit you and clothes that are too small for you now Now you might have to try some of your clothes on, because I did that before the video, as well as cleaning out my drawer to get all the hand the dust out. So it's all nice and clean like this. There's no hand at the bottom, just dump it out. And especially if you have a wooden drawer, I recommend that you polish it with vinegar, just so that it looks all nice and clean. Now that we are done sewing through our clothes, you have to get rid of the clothes that are too small for you. And now focus on the clothes that are too big for you. You have two options. You can either keep them with in the same drawers, the clothes that do fit you, or you can put them in a separate spot. I am not going to keep them with the clothes that do fit me, but if you decide to, then just make sure to put them in the bottom of your drawer so that the clothes that do fit you are easier to reach. Now that you've either folded the clothes that are too big for you and put them in the bottom of your drawer or taken them somewhere else, you can sort through the clothes that do fit you into two piles or more. Um, the clothes that you wear the most often and the clothes that you don't wear that often and then like the clothes that you almost never wear, like as many different piles as you want. But like make sure that they're like the ones that you don't wear that often, that you wear sometimes, that you like never wear, um, you get the idea. So I'm gonna pause this video, do that, and then I will get right back into it. So I sorted them into three piles. Um, and again, you can sort them into how many piles that, as you want. Just make sure, like, this is the pile of clothes that like I almost never really wear. I wear these ones. These ones I wear a bit, yeah. And then these ones are like my favorites and I wear them all the time. There are only three in that pile. But now you have to fold them. So I'm going to pause the video while I do that. And I will uh, unpause it again when it's time to go back on the video and show you what to do next. Okay guys, I folded everything all nice and neat, as you can see. So these are my favorites. I And make sure that you fold them very, very nicely, because they need to look nice and neat. If you, th if you don't, then they just aren't going to look neat. And just, you, you really have to, just... Uh, okay, I'm saying that too much, all right. And these are the ones that I wear sometimes and then these are the ones that I hardly ever wear so now what you're going to have to do is after you've folded them all neatly take the ones that you hardly ever wear and just start to gently without messing up how you folded them neatly put them in the bottom of your drawer After you've cleaned your drawer, too, which you should have already done. And try and make sure that there's not a ton of hay on your clothes either, because then you're just going to get your drawer messy again. And now I'm going to pause the video um, after I just show you what it looks like so far. So, so far it looks like that, all nice and neat. I'm just going to pause the video as I do the rest. And it looks like that on the outside too. So just make sure that everything's very neat and nice and not perfect, but 
perfect, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to just pause the video and finish that up, and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, guys, so now I'm done. And look at how neat that is. The drawer is all nice and clean. Everything's folded really well. And my favorites are on the very top. But now in comparison, look at that. That's how I found that drawer. I mean, everything's folded. Like, all of my skates are folded in half and stuff. But it's just messy. Same with this. Look at those two in comparison to that one. I mean, it really does make a big difference. And it's pretty easy, too. So just, like, just clean it. And, I mean, especially if it's a small amount of clothes, you can just clean it out regularly like this, like maybe once every two months, and just make sure to keep it clean when you are, like, taking out some clothes. Instead of, like, going like this with it, like, you don't want to do that, because now look at that. You want to go, like, this with it. See what I mean? So, just keep it clean like that. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I put it inside of this drawer. Okay, see? That looks really neat. Side looks good. Everything looks good. And then I'll have put in these two as comparisons. And I did not like pick my purposefully most un unnicely folded clothes as an example. I will show you all of my drawers if I had to, but I mean, even this, this is folded pretty well, I mean, right? But that in comparison to this is no match, I guess. And yeah, skits are one of the harder ones to fold, because they'll never really be straight lines, but... I think you could do a bit better than that, you know, so. Okay, guys, I hope this worked for you. I know it worked really well for me, and I just really, really liked this, and I didn't even know that I could do it this good, and I hope this worked for you so much, because I really just want it to help you and i guess i'll just see you in my next video i hope i hope that you watch it um and i'm not sure what that's going to be but it might be another clean one so look out for that because i have been in a very cleaning mood and i will see you in my next video so bye for now i guess